Hey guys, how's it going? So we are back out doing a little bit of creek fishing, uh, kind of keeping the little micro lure challenge going. Got the uh, smallest crayfish imitations I could find to the uh, Uncle Buck's panfish creatures. These are kind of cool. Uh, if you guys have been watching this channel, you know I kind of have like this addiction to these small creeks and trying to pull out one of the big bass that live in it. And I just can't get them to bite on anything, so we're going to see if these guys uh, do the trick. So let me go ahead and get one tied on and we'll get to fishing. So these things are kind of neat. You know, it's just a little plastic crayfish. It's got little pincers and feet and tail and everything. It comes pre-rigged with a jig head and a little spinner blade. You know, I'm not quite sure about the spinner blade. Uh, it's pretty clear water, so I don't think I need the flash or the vibration to really attract the fish. But I'll give it a try the way that it's rigged to see how that does and uh, we'll play it up, play with it a little bit as we go. All right. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be the first little spot that we try. Caught some fish out of here before, we'll see if we can do it again. Alright, but cast pretty easy. It looks kind of low today. Bring it out that way. Oh, got a fish. All right. Cast number two. Nice little panfish. All right, guys. It's not too bad for the second cast. I think we're going to have a good day. Let's get this guy back in the water. There you go, buddy. Off you go. One of the advantages you can give yourself when you're fishing on a creek is wear something you can get in the water with. It really opens up areas to cast to. Gives you a lot more water to fish than just what you can reach from the shoreline. You just gotta be careful walking through the water not to scare away the fish you're trying to fish for. All right, I think I'm gonna move downstream. Try and find some new fish. Ah, looky, looky what we got here. That's a little log jam. A little log jam. This is actually a big log jam. Boop. Nice pocket there. Huge pockets in here. This could be productive, potentially. All right, there's definitely some fish down this little uh, pocket right here. Hard part's gonna be getting to them. But that works. Taking out drag, taking out drag. Don't you like it when they take out drag? Oh, look at that beauty. Aren't you a beauty? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You know, this is twice that you've done this to me, Uncle Bucks. Get a grip on you. Well guys, you know one thing about this is the fish are a little bit cooler today, so your jaws are a little tougher, and that Uncle Buck's bait has a pretty good barb on it, so it's kind of hard to get them out, which is actually kind of nice. So you hook a fish and they stay hooked. It's a nice little largemouth. Let me go ahead and let this guy go back in the water. Bye, buddy. It's not too bad. That's not the big one we're looking for, but that's a good, uh, good sized fish. You know, it's fun to catch on the uh, ultralight here. It's all wrapped up in leaves now. Let's get back to it. All right, guys. So uh, well, the two fish that I've caught so far on this guy, you know, you tie it onto the spinner right here. It's got this little clasp. This little clasp has come free on both fish. And I'd hate to lose a fish because of a clasp. Clasp. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and crush this with my pliers. Try is a key word. Bend that down. I'm really having a hard time with this. There we go. That looks a little bit better. A little bit more of that. There we go. Let's see if that holds together a little bit better as we uh, continue this journey. To that last one hit it on the drop. Got another one. Here we go. 
A little sunfish. A little guy, but it'll do. Back in you go, little mister. Back in you go. Ooh, cold fish today. So while I've got kind of a good spot to do this, I want to talk about how I'm fishing this bait. I've got a jig with a crayfish imitation and a spinner on it. So all I'm doing is just casting it out there, letting it sink. The spinner's doing its thing as it flutters down, and then I'm just giving it a little pop. Maybe a double pop, and then just letting it sink. Just trying to keep the bait close to the bottom. You know, it's a, it's a crayfish that I'm trying to imitate, and they tend to send tend to stay kind of close to the bottom. Yeah, it's just out there, let it flutter down. And just give a pop, a double pop, a little bit more. Chase the fish that's running away from it. Oh, there was actually a bass coming up to eat it. I missed that. Try that again. There you go. Well, this is getting annoying and I want to fish. So, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Again, this is where the advantage of being able to walk through the water comes in. So now I can cross this. Hopefully. Hopefully it stays shallow enough. I think I'll make it. That's the deep part. Shallow enough. There we go. Now I can get to this little island right here. And look at all the new areas that I have to fish. I got this whole spot over here that I can go to. I got all this over here. So we're going to uh, start knocking some of these spots out while I'm getting attacked by a weed. Okay. All right. So right here we got a mud bottom. This could work to our advantage, possibly. See, that's where we were fishing at before, right over there. I'll tell you what, man. It's definitely the type of area I'd love to bring a fly rod. Hey, look. There's bones. I wonder what those bones are. Ah. Might be a deer. Take a look at that. That is definitely a deer. I know, guys, it's amazing sometimes what you can find when you're walking up around a creek because that is a deer carcass. Oof, it's kind of fresh, too smells and that right there is the head with antlers so the question is do I bring it home or not well the rest of the carcass smells pretty bad I wonder what type of shape the skulls on has its teeth fair amount of insects I'm trying to tell if the brain's still in there doesn't really look like it Give it a rinse off. Say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pointer. I think that will be coming home with me. So, how weird do you think people are going to think I am walking out of the creek with a deer skull? That's pretty weird, but that thing looks. Pretty darn cool, I do say so myself. Probably take it home, bury it. The uh, insects do the rest of the work to it and then give it a bleach. It's a shame that that point, two points are broken off, but man, it's a nice deer. It's a shame to find it down here. Hope it died in natural causes. But it's uh, one of its pelvic bones right there. I'll tell you guys, it's really weird to find something like that. Or like this around here because normally the coyotes would have gotten to this guy by now or wild dogs oh there's deer tracks right there too uh, all right let's see i'm trying to uh, cast in this pocket right here see if we can pull anything out there, hang out right there for now all right i'm gonna try and Take some casts in here really quick. Got one. Oh, a little largey. All right, buddy, back in you go. Bye-bye. Look, there's a minnow trap right there. Whew, that thing is stinky. All right.
Ah, zone. And a splash too. That's a nice one. All right, guys, it's gonna be kind of funny. I'm about to walk straight through a family park with a deer skull. Uh, you know, I think it'd be acceptable if like an eight-year-old was doing that, but a 31-year-old, eh, people might think I'm a little weird. Eh, whatever. Well, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me today. It's getting uh, kind of close to noon, so the, the bite's a little off. But hey, that Uncle Buck's uh, crayfish, definitely something that's gonna be added to the creek fishing arsenal. Pretty impressed by it. Hey, we had a fun day today, caught some fish, found a deer skull with antlers, mostly intact. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. If you don't like this video and you hit a thumbs down, tell me why, man. It's kind of annoying sometimes when you get all these thumbs down and you just don't know why. Why don't people love me? I don't know. Well, guys, that's all I got for you in this one. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Just see, so you know, I'm on completely and utterly gross. Yes, I am washing my hands after handling a dead thing. See? Kills 99.9% .9 of germs.